Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a new project called Wizard LM, which is an exciting new project that aims to enhance large language models. And this is by improving their ability to follow a complex instructions. Language models like OpenAI's ChatGPT have already demonstrated impressive language generations, and we've seen that with their capabilities of how it actually demonstrates this with artificial intelligence. But the ability to follow instructions presents a unique challenge for these models. Creating large amounts of instruction data with varying levels of complexity is quite like time consuming and labor intensive. And humans may also struggle, struggle with the produ production of high complexity instructions. And this is something that we've seen with different models such as OpenAI. Now to tackle this, the proposed solution is to use LLMs themselves to generate the instruction data. And this is something by using Evolve Instruct, which is a method that the researchers of this project have constructed. And from this, they're able to evolve the instruction data that is being used to fine tune the LLM, resulting in the creation of this actual project called the Wizard LM. In today's video, we're going to be demonstrating how you can actually do so. We're going to look, take a look at a deeper analysis of what the project is trying to accomplish, some of the benefits, limitations, as well as taking a deeper dive in comparing ChatGPT with Wizard LM's complexity of data, as well as contextual generation. So with that thought, guys, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, I highly recommend that you do so. There's a lot of content and a lot of value that you will definitely benefit from. So if you guys aren't subscribed, please do so. Turn on the notification bell. Like this video as I would really, really appreciate it, guys. So please do. It. And with that thought, let's get right into the video. So how does this actually follow through with their approach? Well, the proposed Evolve Instruct consists of two main components, and that is the Instruction Involver and the Instruction Filter. And we can see this through this filter over here. Now, the Instruction Involver is responsible for generating a large number of open domain instructions of varying levels of difficulty using LLMs. Now, this is achieved by using five types of operations of for in-depth evolving, and that is by adding in a constraint, deepening, and criticizing, increasing reasoning steps and complicated input, as well as an in-breadth evolving, which generates complex new instructions based off the given task. And we can see this with this approach in this diagram over here, where you start off with the initial instruction, you go off to doing different things in the in-depth evolving, which focus on, focuses on the five types of operations. And the, these constraints basically will focus on different things that basically help you with the initial instruction that is given and explores different ways to evolve your answer by looking at complex answers to do so. And this is all done by utilizing LLMs. And the great thing is that it is sent to an instruction pool and it refines the foundation LLM. In this case, I believe they use Alpaca and their parameter is only 8 billion, which is one of the limitations we will talk about later on, but it's something of a great type of model that could be utilized for different types of LMs as the complexity of answers are quite like impressive compared to like ChatGPT. And this is something that we're going to look at later on in the video. And from this diagram, we can see that sometimes there's elimination of evolving, which basically takes out and cuts out the relevant data. And that is all sent to an instruction pool. And we can see that with the creation of Wizard LM in this approach. Now, I'll show you another diagram that talks a little bit more about this and this is where there's a flow chart of the evolve instruct method which is basically for the people who do not know it's an automatically gen generating open domain instruction of varying levels of difficulty using different llms now in this case the process starts off with the initial one plus one instruction and is then sent out to through two different types of selections which is the in-depth evolving or the in-breadth evolving to upgrade the initial instruction to do more of a complex task. And we can see that it also utilizes the five types of operations in this actual diagram. And these operations are implemented by prompting an LM with a specific prompt. Now, the in-breadth evolving, on the other hand, generates a complex, completely new complex instruction based on the given instruction that we gave initially. And this is a quite unique way to actually go about with 
complex as well as tasks that you're trying to achieve with a different system such as wizard lm and this is why i personally find it quite like advanced as well as how it actually goes by solving such in like simple menial like instructions such as one plus one we can see that you're able to get such like defined as well as refined answers with such a simple question and it also goes around by maybe in this case it might be a little bit irrelevant but this is one of the approaches that they go by by eliminating different types of like basic answers but the only thing that i can think about that is a limitation to this is that it utilizes a lot of hardware and tokens to do so so that might be the only thing that could be a hinder for the actual approach but it is something that you might not want to use for such simple tasks it is something that you would want to use for complex solving of like very pro like hard problems so that you're able to get the best generative answer and this is something that could be used and utilized for a lot of different things in that certain case so as we've talked about previously wizard lm offers several benefits in the field of large language models for instruction following tasks now one of the main benefits that i was able to think about is that the ability to generate a large amount of open data for open domain instructions of varying complexity levels and this is auto in an automated manner without the need for time consuming and labor intensive manual creation by humans and this is achieved obviously by using their evolve instruct method which utilizes lms to generate instructions with different levels of complexity and diversity so not only are you taking it making it more efficient and effective but you're able to get such a complex answer with the beneficial way of solving your task now additionally i also believe that wizard lm has shown promising results in improving the performance of lms and instruction following tasks and we can see that with their evaluation they basically achieved a significant better results than alpaca as well as seven by kuna seven billion parameter and this is something that you can see in their actual paper they experimented on three different LM baselines, which is ChatGPT, Alpaca, and Vicuna. And with this, the experiment details also entail some of the training data as well as like the weights to how they actually approach these numbers. So I highly recommend that you read this paper to get a better understanding of how they actually approached it. Now, obviously, such an amazing project like this is obviously going to have some sort of limitation. Now it's quite reasonable to think so because although wizard lm offers so many different benefits there are some limitations to consider and one of that is that a wizard lm is still lags behind with chat gpt now this is only in some like not some but like in many aspects actually because it's basically indicating the further improvements that are actually going to be needed to make this system a little bit better now this is because of the actual token size that is with wizard lm compared to chat gpt now the paper doesn't actually emphasize a little bit on providing specific details for the size of data sets used to train wizard lm but you're able it does mention that the fine tuning process for wizard lm uses a mix of generated instruction data with varying levels of complexity now, in comparison to OpenAI's ChatGPT model reference in this paper, we're able to see that the training dataset size of is only 8 billion for Wizard LM, whereas ChatGPT is significantly larger, guys. Like, when I mean significantly, it's in the trillions. So, the training size obviously is going to differ because of how small the team is, as well as how small the resources that they are provided with, and their main use is not to replicate what ChatGPT is trying to accomplish but in a way they're trying to follow along with their instruction based model in which they can utilize and efficiently produce better complex answers and this is where i go on to the next step of the video where i'm going to showcase some of the shows like actual examples of how it differs from ChatGPT with its complex data as well as its generative content so the research team actually focused on different components. They talked about the skill level of academic writing. They focused on code generation. And I believe they also focused on one last thing, which was a sport. Now we can see the actual comparison in developing such answers with difficult, like difficult, complex 
tasks. Now in this case, they give it an instruction of how can you generate a latex code for a table given its data, etc, etc. And basically from this, we're able to get such a complex as well as an accurate answer of what the actual instructions were entailing. And when you compare it to ChatGPT, you're not able to get the same sort of result. And this is the same cause as well as the same like idea that you would get for the code generation you ask it to you must write a simple version control system using c plus plus and from this we are able to see that chat the actual wizard lm is able to generate such a complex as well as a, a very detailed answer and a response whereas chat gpt isn't also able to provide that type of answer and you're able to see that with the different types of examples over here obviously in some cases chat gpt might be better but in like most of the cases with complex answer or instructions you're able to get the best type of answer with wizard lm now I wanted to do a little test and I'm going to show you guys in comparison of how you can actually utilize the actual complex approach with Wizard LM in comparison to ChatGPT. Oh, I was just trying to compare it myself to see how the detailed response is basically outputted with Wizard LM. And I basically asked it to write a detailed story on the first moon mission and the impact it had on society. And we're able to get a quite like detailed response as to what it's trying to do now i also asked chat gpt and it was also able to give me a good answer as well because it's able to search as well as utilize its data sets to do so but i believe it's more the use case of this is more for instruction more detailed instruction based prompts so if you're asking it different things such as like an accounting solution i was just testing it out in this case i was just like asking it can you solve this question for me uh, on a curl basis and basically what the system will do is it'll take the approach to solve it by using the framework that we talked about previously and obviously if you were to give this to chat gpt it's not going to be able to formulate that instruction based complex question that you give it and this is because it's able to do certain things but it has certain limitations whereas lm wizard lm is able to actually continuously work towards solving it because of the, its framework which we talked about and this is one of the great things about this project guys because this is going to be quite very beneficial in the future and lastly just to end off on a good note or not a good note but something to actually note is that this is for research paper or research reasons only so you're not going to be able to use it for commercial purposes at the current moment it's something that they're going to continuously work towards achieving later on so keep a tab on this project guys because it's going to be quite revolutionary in terms of fine-tuning different large language models so i hope you found this video quite informative it's something that will be quite revolutionary for a lot of different large language models in terms of fine-tuning them. So I hope you found this video quite informative, guys. If you guys want to check out some of my previous videos, there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. And with that thought, guys, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I'll definitely catch you guys next time. Peace out, fellas. Have an amazing day.